Batman sticker reveal. How's it going, tribe? Good morning from Maui, Hawaii. I have a quick question for you guys. <laughs> this video is probably not the one you're going to want to see after that last falling off a cliff video. But the day after that, as you can see, oil still dripping. We uh, went on this gnarly ride near my house and uh, long story short I ended up punching a hole through my crankcase with this bolt right here which is what holds the bottom of the skid plate on this horrible horrible skid plate that I don't ever recommend getting for one simple reason it sits on the inside of the down tubes so when impact occurs it uh, a doesn't protect your down tubes which are all dented up you can see that they're all jacked up but B doesn't offer any support you know if you can imagine the skid plate is resting against the down tubes it's gonna be harder to flex the inside of it well this skid plate sits on the inside and it was both error by Evotech and Yamaha I think because what happened is the, the hole is right there. It goes, you know, this is the original bracket to hold the skid plate on by Yamaha. And this is an Evotech bolt right here. And this thing is way too long. After it goes through and holds the skid plate on, the end of the bolt is right. It's like pushing on the crankcase. Like by the time you're finishing up the bolt, it's completely on there. So, you know, and without any of that external... Um, support on the down tubes the, 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 the plate on impact it's not doing nothing it's been pounding on my crankcase anyways so it punched a hole through the crankcase the exact diameter of this bolt 8 millimeter bolt I don't know what the diameter of that is but if you can see that little oil spot right there it's that size it's a very tiny little hole and I thought I'd ask for your guys advice here because I don't want to, okay, so look, I got right here, you got the main frame right here, the aluminum frame, the rear steel, and the front down tube, it's held on right there, A, and then two bolts up here, B and C, and then that little engine bolt there. The problem is, I can't get to the hole, because this bracket is in the way connected to the down tube. So, I was like, oh man, that's such a big job just to even get to the hole. Because obviously if I take the down tube off, that's what's holding the whole engine on. And then Mr. Mike had a great idea. He's like, well, turn the bike upside down. Um, at least the engine will kind of like rest in the mainframe when the, when the uh, down tube is taken off. But I thought about that some more and I was like, man, that's going to be such a wrangle monster. Like... Down tube comes off, bike is upside down, engine's like up and weird. Down tube goes back on, and then the engine's just going to be so hard to freaking wrangle. Not to mention the fact that I just dread having to take this thing off. So here's my thoughts, and tell me if this works, if any of you guys are savvy in this realm. A, I think this bolt where they tapped it, Yamaha, is an awful location for it. I don't even want to put another bolt through there. Uh, just because it's right under the crankcase. But right there, just about a quarter inch off, is fine. It's got a lot of clearance there. So I just wanted to see what you guys would think about dremeling this thing right after this bolt, right after this hole, just so I have two little metal nubs sticking out there. I'm guessing this thing is like, you know, it's... I'm guessing it's not much of a support brace. It's just kind of there for... Uh, I was going to say for YouTube to offer aftermarket skid plates for Facebook. <laughs> Stupid cat, you messed me up, kitty. What are you doing? Kitty, what are you doing? Whatever. Um, for Yamaha, I'm suspecting they just put, put this here for aftermarket. So what do you guys think of cutting this right after the bolt so I can get to the hole to either put a tap in it and just put a tiny little bolt in it and get that sealed up. 
kind of like having an extra drain plug, but it'll be over here. I'll probably even use it sometime when I just want the oil to drain really slowly. Just use my little 8mm drain plug. Probably 9mm, actually. Um, but that would allow me to get to that without having to take this whole freaking machine apart. And then it would also allow me to tap a hole right here and put a, you know, a much beefier skid plate, but at least have the peace of mind that the bolt is away from that tapped bolt type of thing. What do you guys think? You know, somebody is saying weld it. This is aluminum, obviously, but uh, um, this other guy said you can't weld it because this gasket right here will get too hot and it'll just destroy it. The oil inside the engine will will uh, burn and et cetera, et cetera, and it's just like not advisable. Then this case, this whole bottom case is like freaking 600, 700 bucks OEM from Yamaha, not to mention like 12 hours of labor to put in, so that's not an option. I'm kind of thinking that cutting it is the only option, unless you guys have a better idea as to how I can get to that hole without turning this into an enormously big job. Because today's Monday, and I want to ride on Wednesday. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. Shifter dive. <laughs>